I'm the man up in this piece. Yeah, that's right. You better walk away. Go and walk away, because I'm going to burn this motherfucker down. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on me. Perfect. You too. What it do with you? Comp is caught on the game. D-Money, back again with your weekly update. We got a decent update today. We got Astro Rank. We got P7 Lou and Rebecca. Not mad at it. Not overly geeked about it. But we're going to make it do what it do. So let's not waste any time. Let's get into this update. All right. So we're going to check out these potential abilities for these P7 characters. So we're going to look at Rebecca first. So for Rebecca... Her potential ability trees, we got mid-range, which gives her a boost to her mid-range stat, success rate, death resist, and her pull-up jumper. Next, we got her physical, which gives her a boost to her speed, normal movement speed, and her stamina. Lastly, we got three-point shot, which gives her a boost to her three-point stat, success rate, death resist, and again, her pull-up jumper. All right, you know we got to take a look at the comp bill, which, I mean, yeah, it's somewhat comp, but not really. Cause like the only time I play Rebecca really is 3x3. I don't play Rebecca outside. It's not that I don't like Rebecca. I just only play her during 3x3. All right, next we got Lou's potential ability. So for her potential ability, first one on the docket, we got rebound, which gives her a boost to her rebound stat, speed, normal movement speed, her balance, her box out speed, and her chip out height. Second ability, we got steel, which gives her a boost to her steel stat. Her intercept success rate, steel speed, stamina, and her shot impediment. Lastly, we got dunk, which gives her a boost to her long distance dunk stat, drive speed, her speed, long distance layup distance, and her long distance success rate and death resist. And of course, we got to check out the comp lube bills. This is the mid range build, nothing too shabby. This is the dunk build. And this is the balanced three-point build. All right, first event we got on the docket is Astro Rank with the Buff Wave. And I'm loving this one already. So for this particular Astro Rank, you're going to have a buff to Shot Impediment, my personal favorite, Stamina, Running Floater Success Rate, Pass, Long Distance Layup Distance, and Rebound. My recommendations for people you need to be banning from this rank would be Janessa, Lou, and Giant G. For the rewards, as you can see, usual P points, intensive notes, gold tickets, and mileage tickets. Secondary rewards, of course, is going to be the gold and silver UFO, which you can never have enough gold UFOs, and pet appearance change tickets. Which, be honest with me, anybody use those? Because I got like a crap ton of appearance tickets and I never use them. I just want to know if anybody actually uses those. Next, we got the custom mode update, which I'll just show it to you. It's a lot easier to do it that way. So for that, you go play, go to custom mode, and basically it'll allow you to do solo scrims, team scrims a lot easier. You can add AI characters. You can adjust the game settings, rules, detail rules, even the prestige level of the AI characters. It's going to be some comp, I mean heavy comp solo scrims, I'm telling you. Next event is the Intensive Lou and Rebecca Update Special Logins. You already know how this goes. Log in for seven days. Collect those seven rewards. Next event on the docket is the Lou and Rebecca's P Challenge. To collect the first set of rewards, you are required to score 20 points with Lou or Rebecca, which is easy as hell to do. To collect the second set of rewards, you are required to have a P7 Lou or Rebecca, and you need to play five matches with them. The rewards for this event will be sent out on the June 5th maintenance update. Next event is the character stat boost event. So to collect all the rewards for this event, all you have to do is P6 Rebecca and or Lou play 25 matches with them and you will collect all the rewards from this event. Next, we got the Master of the Block event, which requires you to score 2,500 points in the arcade mode block, which is really easy to do. Just play a big that has manual block and you should be able to score 2,500 points with that. That is not hard to do at all. The rewards for this event will be sent out on the May 29th maintenance update. 
Last event on the dock is the double special buff wave, 100% bonus to coins and XP in 3v3 and rank mode. All right, this is the part where Joy City tries to sell you stuff. First sale on the docket, Lou and Rebecca point sale. So, so for those of you who still do not have the Ultimate Edition and you are looking to get a Lou and or a Rebecca, you can purchase them via P points, 20% off. Next sale on the docket is the 1P random card pack. So for 1P point, you get a 50% chance at getting a gold or a silver freestyle ticket. Each purchase of this box does go towards the mileage shop, but you can only purchase one of these per day. Next is a small 4P5 shopping bag, 50% off sale. So if you're looking to get your hands on a P5 Carter, 50% off the, off the shopping bag. Each purchase of this shopping bag also goes towards the Molly shop. Next, we got the May special outfit sale. So if you are a fan of any of these outfits, like snowboarding somewhere in May, 30% off each one of these outfits. Next, we got the Lou and Rebecca management package. You already know how I feel about these. The top package, 149 P points. I do recommend that one. The bottom two, 399 P points. I do not recommend purchasing either one of those. Next is the premium intensive package. 399 P points will net you that wonderful box right there, which will contain one intensive manual, six potential Bs, and one reset ticket. If you purchase six of those, you receive all the rewards at the bottom of the screen. Next is a small Ford pickup intensive growth shopping bag with an increased chance to get a small Ford intensive manual. Each purchase of the shopping bag does go towards the Molly shop. And last sale on the docket is the intensive item promotion sale. You already know how this goes. Purchase the first four items and you will receive a free intensive small Ford position manual. All right. Not a bad update. Pretty decent. We got rank. We got two new P7 characters, even though I would have. Like I said, it's kind of hard for me to get excited for P7 characters when you still got half the roster that don't even have P6, but I'm not mad at it. Just not overly excited about it. Also, you should have the rewards for the Pass Me the Ball event, Master of the Jump Shot event, and the Lee's P Challenge event should also be in your mailbox. Also, to anyone who is part of the Joy City Creator crew, you are able to collect your rewards now, so make sure you log in, check that out. But that's all I got for you. I'm about to go have me a comp ass solo scrim. It's your boy D Money. Like, comment, and subscribe, and like that. We gone.